Okay, guys and gals. <clears throat> Today's going to be a pretty full day. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I think, is come down here and maybe see if I can just take my house plans and just flip them around to where instead of the living room being in the front and the kitchen being in the ba along the back wall, maybe flip that around and put the living room in the back. Because all of my drain fixtures and water fixtures are on one wall. And if I make them along the front wall, it's a little more downhill from this front corner to the septic tank. I'm pretty sure it's downhill from cor the, cor the front corner to the septic tank. Down here, it's uphill to the septic tank. So we'll see if that might work for that. And then what I need to do, well, first I will probably come up here. And uh, as I've said many times before, so you guys probably know, uh, no one's lived here in 25 years. So all this brush up to that, I don't know if you can even see that fence right there. It's like right there. You can see the two wires. Anyways, well, there's more than two wires, but anyways, for up to that fence line, I'm I'm thinking this is the spot where I'm gonna maybe try to put a garden. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of these trees, and uh, so I think I'm gonna just uh, rake up a path along the fence and then around the whole perimeter of maybe a little square right here and uh, do like a little six foot by six foot section at a time and burn this stuff off <clears throat> and uh, so I'll, I'll try to get that ready and then uh, I won't cut the trees today because I have plenty of other stuff to do once I get tired of burning then it's time to work on the shed I need to go up into the woods and mill some more boards, probably uh, mill some roof boards and then go ahead and do some siding boards. i got kind of a dangerous project today. I've got a tree across a ditch valley type of thing and we'll get into that when it comes time. I just thought I'd give you all a breakdown of what's going on today. This is what we call Backwoods Patriot Fuel. Two bologna and cheese sandwiches a chocolate pie and some dill pickles that I canned last summer with a little bit of garlic in there and I don't use any kind of a special recipe for these pickles it's just like a standard dill pickle recipe but man I don't know they're like the best pickles I've ever had so and I canned like 26 jars of them so I think I've still got about 15 jars left. Okay, so as far as flipping the house plans around and putting the uh, all the water fixtures on the front wall instead of the back wall, because that's just going to be unacceptable. I can't have, you know, 14 dump trucks come in here to freaking bring three foot deep of freaking dirt for like a 200 square foot area. Well, it'd be like a 400 square foot area. And here, even... Okay, there's the front corner, so I'm like two blocks down from the front corner. Even right there, way up here at the top, I mean, it's like almost exactly level. And then it, go, it, it actually goes up a little bit right there, so... I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe I could make that work. <clears throat> I'm kind of irritated because that trench was a lot of work, but I guess that's the stuff you run into. You can't let it stop you, I guess. I also thought about just coming off of this back wall here and just running me a pipe out. Well, probably down there since I don't have those blocks laid in yet.
I think the last fixture is about right in here. So exit the pipe out here and just run it, because this is downhill quite a bit. Just run it maybe, you know, two or three inches under the ground. There's the gravel road. Just exit the pipe right there and let it run down the frickin' ditch. I mean, I have seen people around here do that kind of stuff also. Just, just run their pipes off down a hill somewhere. I'm about, oh, I'd say 50 feet from the house to here. And that ditch is about, I don't know, 10 foot down. So I don't know. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, that's like against health codes and whatnot, but... You know. I don't know. And our well is way up there, up the hill from it, so I mean, you know. And there's nobody <laughs> for like a mile that way. It's all our property, so, well, family property. So I don't think it would affect the groundwater. But, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with this too much today. I don't feel like getting all muddied up again. So, I'm going to go up here and just start burning. Mm -hmm.